Hello everybody and welcome back. I am just sat here, stood here, sat here. I can be sat, I'm stood, admiring the uh, view out of our studio. I guess you'd call it that. Um, I'm also pondering how we're going to integrate the glass up the top and I'm thinking probably it's better not to. Um, if I make this a glass wall here as well to give us a full sort of studio view, uh, this piece of wood, this half piece here, will just cover this little area at the end and I think that's fine. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave that as it is. If I were to do glass all the way across the, the um, you know, same level, all the way across there, it's going to kind of nullify the need for the glass at the top. So I think I'm just going to leave that bit as it is. Uh, again, I don't know what I'm going to use the little um, porch for other than an emergency entrance uh, such as I used before. So I've got both generators running. Um, just waiting for the power, which we now have, so that we can make the flashlight. There we go. So after uh, scratching my brains trying to think what those parts were uh, I realized in editing the video that the reason there were six weapon parts not five is because when I'd come back from looting and had a weapon part on me I added it to the wrong crate so that was easily resolved now um, I can use the rifle or the pistol but the one I've been trying to favor is the pistol so I'm going to put the torch on that one for now. We can always move it later on should I decide to prefer a different weapon. But um, let's get these turned off because I just topped them up uh, a few minutes ago and I noticed we are very low on biofuel. Uh, that's only really two refills. So that's something we need to pay attention to. We do have an emergency there, uh, a backup. In fact, I'll add that to the crate now just to avoid any future mishaps uh, which makes the, the stores look a little bit healthier now it is very cold outside and I'm expecting an attack now I know I say that pretty much every episode uh, because I'm completely losing track but um, yesterday which was the previous oh there we go the previous episode was relatively quiet so I'm thinking, let's go for arrows this time actually, I think t today might be quite a busy day. Where are you? Oh, my grenade arrow. Not nice. Ooh. Good with those rifles, aren't they? One down. Bandage up. Stand still. No, I said stand still. Aha, you missed. Don't go down there. Don't run away. Very hard to hit them at that distance. I think we've done enough that he's coming back at least. Let's hope he doesn't have any more grenade arrows left. That was quite painful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one did it. So, just the two of them, but look at the damage that grenade arrow did. Wow. We're going to have to get that repaired, but I'm just going to go and get these bags quickly because it's quite entirely possible we'll have another attack. As I was saying, 
yesterday was very quiet. Put my arrow back as well. Um, I think it started off with a fisherman dying naturally, and as they say, of natural causes, um, and ended up with some shooting just, well, up in the mountain somewhere. I don't even know where it was. So I'm kind of expecting attacks today. Oops. And it does look as if, well, it's certainly going to snow. We may well get a snowstorm. So uh, today, I think, is going to be general, um, you know, sort of run of the mill, doing stuff in the base or around the base. And I um, don't know, we'll have to see how that goes. I was going to go and get some cougars. Uh, and then I saw the weather and decided it's not really the weather for cougars. But I've put all this in the refinery and I don't know if you know, you can just click these lightning flashes here to select whether they're on or off. Um, I'm leaving it off for now because obviously we wanted the power previously. Um, I don't think we quite have enough coming in. I could run one side of it maybe. Um, yeah, if the if yeah if it stays at that level, we can run one side. So I think I'll do the iron and yeah, I think we're all good. Good on that for now. Right, let's get these repairs done, lest we forget. is pretty much okay. They are quite a uh, quite a direct hit grenade arrows. Yeah. They we're taking uh, cold hits just up there. It's not good. Now obviously I could go out and about um, down to a lower elevation uh, to do some looting but it's kind of, uh, yeah, not good. <laughs> so, um, I don't have any more glass sheets, so I can't do any more of the um, building work uh, that I was going to do. We, can, we can't make the glass sheet for here at the moment. Uh, but what we can do is give some thought to what I want to do, um, you know, with all of this. Because if I'm going to set up a um, fishing hut down by the pond, and use that uh, with a BCU to keep chickens um, you know where it's close to the pond don't have to worry about water you can just tip water straight in etc we can put some plant beds down there uh, that will grow the veg that we can feed the chickens um, not sure who it was that suggested that I'll put your name up if I can find the comment uh, it's a good idea um, but then there's no point in me having animals here which is what I was kind of planning for down the bottom here um, alternatively, uh, we do have this area upstairs, which is, well, kind of our bedroom really, isn't it? But this area here is a bit exposed to incoming fire, as you saw just then. Um, so I don't really want to use this for production area, uh, just in case something happens. But it does seem a bit of a waste of space. So I was thinking we could put the fire up here, um, which means when I'm fighting, I'm not going to take so much cold damage. But I've got everything set up down here now. <laughs> so if I'm working, putting loot away, or working on the workbench or the BCU, I kind of need a fire down here as well. So I think the next thing, ideally, is a radiator and that will save me the problem of having to move this fire uh, or I can put a radiator down here and move the fire and the fridge and maybe a cooker eventually up into what we might laughably call our bedroom. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking uh, the way the weather is going as well, minus four at the moment, I'm thinking a radiator is probably a good investment. It's only 750 power, the 100 mass we'll get anyway, so it's four ingots and three circuit boards. And we have one circuit board and three ingots. So you can see now why I'm thinking 
pearl diving is looking more like a good idea. Cold or not. So, let's get the stuff for those. And, okay. Into those. And we can just do it. So then we've just got to wait for the mass to come back up, uh, which it will do naturally anyway. So, for the lack of anything better to do, I uh, think maybe we're going to have to go out and do a bit of looting. Um, I can use fuel bricks because I've got shed loads of fibre. And we have a heat pack with us, just in case we get caught out. Ooh. It's not looking too healthy, is it? Yeah, definitely a snowstorm. Not nice. So, what we can do... I can remember... I've only got one spare one. I'll leave that as a backup. Uh, we can make... Where I put it there. Some more heat packs. And that way, if I'm getting cold in the water and I'm losing health and it's getting desperate, then at least I'll know. I, I can always uh, hit, you know, hit a, a heat pack and, um, and recover. Okay, so. Pop ourselves up with a rabbit. And I think a chicken. Grab our water. And let's go and see if we can find any loot. Looting in a snowstorm. Excellent idea. We've got ten arrows, so that should do us. Okay, we'll start with that one. special, was it? As you saw, I do have a bit of meat in the fridge. I think I really want to take a 150 pig. Um, yeah, it's not cooked, a lot of it, but uh, we do have some... I'm not too worried about food at the moment. I don't want to be out too long anyway, because historically, we, if we're getting an attack in the morning, we usually get one in the evening as, as well. And it is minus four, so I can't jump in the water because that will take me down to minus eight. And um, I will definitely take heat damage, so I have to wait and see if it warms up a little bit. Tempting as pearls are, we have got enough for now, but we're definitely going to need more. Keeping my eyes open for white wolves. Not that I think I would see one if it was right in front of me. And of course, cotton as well. It is the season for cotton still. I believe cotton is out until the end of December. Or at least until the lakes freeze. Uh, they haven't frozen yet and it's not the end of December yet, so there should be cotton around. of anything down here.
there's a white wolf. And that, I think, is a rogue. Yeah, there must be a rogue camp there, helping trees. really rather not engage a road camp in a snowstorm. Hmm. This is not very nice at all. isn't really going out looting weather, this is more sitting by a fire, hugging a mug of soup weather. I was kind of hoping that it might clear up, you know, that this would just be a passing storm, but um, not looking very promising, is it? Don't miss two irons next to each other, can you? at all. I don't know whether I need to collect these rose hips or not. I um, I generally avoid eating them as a veg got plenty of veg anyway um, because they dehydrate you quite badly uh, so when you eat them you have to have a drink handy oh just missed that one yeah so I don't generally don't eat them they're good for feeding to the chickens or the animals uh, whichever um, because you've almost always got a supply of water when you when you're uh, rearing animals See him. I'll run away from that pig as well. You make the pig feel trapped, he's not likely to attack you. Oh dear, okay. We are in a very wrong place for this. I thought there would be an attack today. I did expect it to be later on today. Can you get through my wall? Oh, you can come around. You can die. a flak jacket on. That's uh, quite painful, isn't it? Oh, so they were sensible enough when they couldn't get to me past the wall to go around the bottom of it. 
all the way around there. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder if Charlie's attack is going to do that. I have to keep an eye on that. Right, I need to get in the warmth because I'm trying not to use another health pack. It's expensive. Um, we've got much to go in here, have we? Well, not a very successful loot day, I'm afraid. But um, given the weather, not much I can do about that. Uh, no. Iron for that. Okay, so that's two attacks, uh, each of of two hunters, by the look of it. Which is a bit strange. So either the other ones died on the way over, or they stayed at home because it's too cold. I said, I'm not going out there, it's cold. You go attack on your own. <laughs> Who knows? Right, just to top up everything. Another one of those, another one of those. And we'll take these out of here. Those back. And then, yeah, so we're still waiting for the mass to come up. We weren't out very long at all. Okay. So, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? Of course it's cleared up now, that's beautiful out there. Not typical. Um, I could actually do with some more arrows and things, couldn't I? Just uh, reset that. I don't really need to carry all of those. And put a few logs on there. Um, so seeing as the weather has cleared up, what I'm going to do is I'll take, I'll take the double barrel with me. I'm actually going to swap it to there. Um, just in case uh, if we come across a cougar that's... Uh, ooh, presence on the doorstep. There's a cougar in a nice convenient position. But, um, what I want to do is, without taking too much cold damage, I want to go and have a look at, see if there's anybody left at these uh, Alpha and Bravo. It was interesting, only two of them attacked. And yeah, that's a cougar. Where's the wolf? Wolf growled at me then. Oh, there you are. Okay. I don't know they have wolves up that high. That's very really strange. Hopefully if I run up these stairs he'll jump he'll run away. Oh, okay. He ran away anyway. <laughs> okay. They didn't like me jumping over the water. Uh, I don't really want to use a double barrel on him. Didn't really need to kill him, I could have gone round, but we do need the meat anyway, so and we're right next to a stream, I can easily wash my hands. Right, let's try that again. We are losing the light rapidly, but 
Okay. Another attack coming in. The game is determined that we are not going to be able to get that cougar. So. You're going to behave yourself this time. Oh, he's actually stood on the steps. Ow. Oof. Yeah, he's actually standing on my steps there, look. Oh, no. That gun. That's the gun I'm looking for. Oh. It's just moving so fast, even though this still won't get it. Oh, I was behind the wall. Wow. That was not nice. I swear I was behind the wall then. Hmm. You can't put a spawn on the bed, unfortunately. Let's just put these out of the way. that one. Did I miss something on there? Did I have less health and was bleeding or something? I didn't think I was low on health. Uh, hmm. Well, we're low on health now. Of course, they've all run away now. Having successfully killed me. Well, that was a turn up for the books. I'll be interested to watch the video back. For that one. I really didn't think I was in a critical situation there. Uh, and we, we had all those shotgun shells on us as well, didn't we? Never mind. That's, that happens. Just uh, get some of these back. And reload everything. I don't know why it empties all your weapons. I understand losing things out of your inventory, but I don't really understand why you're <laughs> losing a load of stuff out of the weapons as well. That seems a bit strange. Uh, right, we're getting low on 9mm now as well, aren't we? Eh, might have to start making some at this rate. Just going to cook this steak up while I get a bit of health back, and then we'll uh, go and get that bag at least, get something out of the attack. Yeah, they were actually walking up the steps. So I think maybe we need to move those. I'm not going to do it now because it's cold and not in that, exactly in the best of health. But um, yeah, that was a bit strange. I've never seen them actually walk on your, your property before now. And any water. So yeah, I'll um, I'll have a look at that video when I edit it, and uh, if there's anything dodgy about it, I'll play it back in slow motion. But I'm pretty sure I was hidden behind the wall, um, not in a position where they could hit me. I might be wrong, very well may be wrong with that about that, but um, we'll see. Anyhow, uh, right, gather my thoughts. Um, 
Two blue lights at Charlie, but I don't think they're going to be attacking. Uh, I need to put another spawn back on the bed, uh, which I think is 350. Um, we're still waiting for mass anyway, so I'm going to hurry that up a little bit. Because I do not want to not have a spawn on the bed in the middle of winter. Um, if I were to die and respawn at the other end of the map or something, that would be a pretty hopeless situation. So I don't want that to happen. But, uh, hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, a bit of a messy day today, I'm afraid. Um, we did manage to get the uh, flashlight, which is brilliant. Uh, we can... There we go. <laughs> get a good shot. It's a bit dark for a thumbnail, but... Um, oh, actually, what I could try is, if I do it up here with the light on... Yeah, a little bit better. But that, so there you go. We did get the flashlight and we did get two attacks and we did die once. So <laughs> not a not a wholly successful day, but a fairly typical subsistence type day. Anyway, that's all I've got for you on this episode. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you had a bit of fun like I did and uh take care of yourselves now and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye bye now. <laughs>